Yeah, and before you um judge my hair, it's getting done tomorrow morning. Per. And, and still that girl. Per. He like this lady. Per. Still that girl. Right? Bank account on here. Yeah. Crib here. Yeah. Bills paid here. Yeah. Riding around in my yeah. Still that girl. Hair done or not. Who? I've been working. I've been grinding. It's grind season. This is what the grind look like. Period. <laughs> Changing my name to Stone Cold Killer. <laughs> Killer K. Guys, what's up? Welcome to another vlog. If you're new to this channel, please like, comment, subscribe, share. You know, all the good stuff. But anyways, no, I really feel like men in black today, y'all. Like, who am I? Um, I closed my first deal in my new role this week. Per. Um, I'm really excited about it. I've been performing so great in this new role. Like, it's about to be a year, honey. Because the way I done came in, my manager told me my new name is Stone Cone Killer, period, poop. But nah, honestly, um, y'all, I've been finding real good deals this year. Like, I can't believe I really closed my first deal within under eight weeks being in this role. But I can't believe it because the first time I ever got into sales, I closed my first deal in six weeks. Because one thing about me, baby. I'm the truth okay now I really hate to pop my stuff like this I don't know why I keep saying that I keep saying lately I hate to pop my stuff but but I feel like I shouldn't hate to pop my stuff because um I really shouldn't cuz y'all you know I really had to work hard for these moments very 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 hard for these moments learn a lot about sales learn a lot about technology y'all didn't see me on here complaining about times where I didn't want to study for them certs. I was killing myself and it paid off. Okay, so one thing I will say as a word of encouragement, God will test you. He will put you to the fire. But time and time again, he will bring you out and he will bring you on top and he will show you, honey, why he had to bring you through some moments. Because looking back on it, in those moments, I would always be like, God, please release me from having to be at these jobs where they want cert after cert after cert. And baby, now the accolades is starting to add up, you know? So I went through the tests and the trials and the tribulations and the lessons that I really learned about tenacity in those moments, y'all was priceless so that is my little encouragement for the day if you are in a space or a place in your life right now where things seem tumultuous or you know you feel like you're just receiving opposition I know a lot of people follow me who may be playing applying all the time you're just going through boot camps and things like that you know stay motivated stay focused because truly it will be a yes you will have tons of no's you will have tons of moments where you know what I'm saying? Things may seem like they're not working out, but they are working out for your greater good. And I do want to just spread that positivity today because it is necessary sometimes, especially if you don't have a circle around you that can just lift you up at times. So that's the vibes. It's Labor Day weekend, y'all. One, the car needs to get clean. I ain't clean my baby girl in a minute. Two, I got these Bottega shades I done dropped off two months ago. Need to go pick them up this weekend. The box has been sitting in here empty. I need to go get the shades. Three, I'm doing so much travel next month. I'm going to Women Evolve. I have to do a photo shoot this week um, for a new website that I'm building. I cannot wait. I feel like this is the month I'm about to start talking. September 1st today. So October, we coming with the heat, y'all. It's going to be heat, 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 heat. You hear me? Light it up light it up light it up it's gonna be nothing but that heat trust me i stayed down all summer to really put y'all on game with this sales stuff to take it to the next level y'all know i did the coaching that has been going amazing tuesday we are starting september we got a new group of people um it's just i can't i can't explain it like it's just like once i got into that mode this summer I just turned it up. I said, why are you stopping halfway? Why are you just doing one-on-one -on -one calls? Why are you just coaching people? You know what I'm trying to say? Hold on, my housekeeper just. Oh my gosh. I don't even know where I left off in the video, y'all, because I just got a call that just... Also, I just need to give another message. Sorry, this is going to be probably a car ramp. 
I probably just dropped this as the weekly vlog in itself. I'm going shopping. I'm going to show y'all a few other things after this. But, ooh, the messages that's on my heart today, y'all, I'm amped up. I got to share this because um, I just got off another call and I want to talk to y'all about the power of timing. What I was just saying, like, yes is no's, like, but the timing on your network. The timing on God placing people in your life 10 years ago, that's going to be relevant today. Five years ago, that's going to be relevant today. Trust me when I say in this season that I've been in, when I entered that 40-day fast, let's talk about it, y'all. Let's talk. Hold on. Let me take the shades off so I can see. Ah, oh, my God. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Because this is just crazy, the amount of stuff that's been happening. One second. All right, let's get into it. I'm sitting here at the car wash waiting, um, waiting guys for them to call me in here. So while I wait, let's just have a car talk. Let's just have a car talk. Um, so yeah, so yo, when I tell you the people God strategically placed in my life, when I tell you in this season, everything's been so full circle, full circle moments, full circle moments. And if I'm being honest, there were points in my journey where I was very impatient, very, very impatient. I'm like, God, why do you have me here so long? Like, why, why me? Like, why is this happening to me? Let me tell y'all something. My first sales job, we were supposed to get 40000 in commission. I'm going to just tell y'all some, some of the trials and tribulations I've really been through. We were supposed to get 40000 in commission, two $20,000 checks after each half for training. Yo, my first sales job, I almost quit because my manager was so racist. She was such a bitch, y'all. She really, really put me through the ringer. And she, she didn't give me my second check. She basically put me on full commission and said, you're ready to go into the role. Knowing I wasn't developed enough as a seller to step into that enterprise role, and then basically said I didn't, um, I didn't. If you get what I'm saying, I didn't fully um, step into the role. So then that affects your performance, and then I didn't get my bonus. Whereas everybody else got their bonus because of the fact that, you know, they were just sellers still on their, you know, like training plan. Y'all, I didn't get that 20K. When I tell you I've been through so many tribulations and sales that I never spoke on when it's like back to back to back, like switching roles, having to restart roles, having to repivot myself, go to a startup, come back. Like this stuff was not easy. There were points where I was really just like, God, why am I going through all this? When I had coworkers who just landed out the sales training program that we all went through called the Summit Program, and they just started making bread. I have friends right now that graduated from that program with me that are like managers and directors at companies. But when I tell you he makes no mistakes in your journey, and he knew for somebody like me, I had to learn certain struggles to relate with the people that my whole community is being built around now. People who don't have a degree, people who really need to transition roles like it all makes sense to me now and then furthermore the people that I met along this journey the insight they gave me the things they taught me when I tell y'all next month where I'm about to take all the education and learning and things that I have learned to help sellers because of the going viral online two months ago three months ago where to this day is still the number one tech sales video on TikTok do you know that that video i had got back in town that day when i was able to go do that video that went viral everything has been shown to me on such a strategic alignment and timing that god had to do certain things at specific times do you understand this whole year i just kept putting out content to the point this video goes viral and Thousands of people add me on LinkedIn. Hundreds and hundreds of people are asking me for mentorship, reaching out to me. People at my company are finding me. Executives. Y'all don't even understand the extent to a video just going viral, how it significantly changed my life. Guys, in two weeks, I'm going to speak at the Empire State Building at the Sisters in Sales Conference, which is a black, the biggest like black sales conference for sellers in tech. Like, it's just crazy that I was on here last year telling y'all about my testimony and how I lost $30,000. My bonus alone this year, guys, is triple. My end of year sales bonus at Microsoft is triple what I lost, plus all the money I have made in the past six months starting my podcast, doing my business. And I was faithful. Every dime I touched, y'all, I put it back into my podcast. Anything I made off social media, 
if I'm being transparent, the first month of this year, I think I had made like six or seven thousand dollars in January off social media alone. And I sat back and I was just like, damn, God, like I lost 30 K and this is almost one third. Like, you know, I was just rounding it up to 10,000. I'm like, damn. I done made $7,000 this month. This is almost a third of what I lost. And all I did was just keep telling people and keep believing. God, that little bit of money that I lost, it wasn't nothing. That little bitty shit, it wasn't nothing. Like, I was just, I was in just a different mode. I was like, it's not nothing. This is my first business lesson. I'm going to eat that up. Like, I'm going to make this money back. If y'all know what I made this year, just helping people, just stepping into my purpose, Y'all have no idea. Like, it's just mind-blowing. The one-on-one -on -one consultations, back-to-back, -back, consistently booked, month after month. My first coaching group, booked out. It was just, it's just insane, and it's really deeper than the money. It's the fact that I've really identified God had to put me through all these things to use me and my purpose, you guys, to really help a lot of people. A lot of people I wouldn't have been able to connect with had this been an easy journey. Had I just been online, like, oh, yeah. I just did this. Oh, yeah, I just got into sales. Like, the journey is not easy for a reason. Because when you start to get his testimony, when you start to build your community, when you start to reach and tap into people, it's going to be in fruition. It's going to be in alignment with what God is calling you to do. And it's like crazy because for so long I kept trying other things that I have felt like, why these things not working out? I make so much money so quick, but it's not working out. This has been the most strategic long-term play that God has placed in my life. And it took me seven, eight years of hustling to really understand it for it to come full circle. So my message, honestly, is just truly when you are in those moments and you're being tested and you're you're trying to figure out what is the greater picture and what is the greater purpose, understand you got to stay down in those moments. You got to really stay focused. You got to stay locked in. Another thing that just came to my mind is I had so many people and friends and family members around me. You understand I got cousins, people I talk to all the time and I'm like, get in, get in your bag. Like, why you don't just start the business? Why you don't just do that? And I was pouring into the wrong community. I finally found the community and the people that needed to receive my messages. And once I found that, look at what has happened. My subscriber count goes up. My Instagram goes up. Okay, like, that's not a mistake. Like, God really is working in my life in a different way right now. And it's just amazing to see the phone call. Every time the phone ring, is more good news. It's another door open. And people just really got to understand about the moments I stayed down. I, this didn't come easy. This was not an overnight success. I'm in Atlanta, y'all. I'm surrounded by entrepreneurs. I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur. I always felt like I don't want to be in corporate America. I'm so much more driven and motivated and this and that. Do you know what corporate America has set me up and taught me to step into whatever God has for me next? So much, so much financial stability. My, my I have a home that's um, in equity right now. Low interest rate at the time, like I said, I bought it. I own a property. I have a nice car now. I have so many things as a foundation. As an entrepreneur, I don't got to go step out now and try to figure out how am I going to hustle these things. I'm starting at level level d versus level a so now imagine i got four or five steps ahead off the strength of being in technology off the strength of feeling like why can't i just be a hustler all the time it wasn't that i wasn't a hustler it was just like how am i gonna align what god's vision is for me and how i can help people and do all these things with my hustle and that is where the money started to come this year and, and helping people just was what I set out to do. I said before this year, I kept telling y'all, I was like, I'm really trying to help y'all find jobs to break into. So now it was like, okay, you really want to help people find a job. You've been helping people with the skills. So now what I've been working on all year is putting together every single thing to make this happen. You get what I'm trying to say? So it just all makes sense to me now. It just all makes so much sense to me now. I can't even explain it to y'all. I can't even explain it to y'all, the phone calls, the alignment, this whole next month of travel, the circles I'm going to be in. Like, I got invited to a private dinner for Netflix, a sales gala. Like, it just don't make sense to me. But it makes sense to me, if you get what I'm saying. So that's also why when I first started the video, I kept saying, oh, I really want to pop my stuff. And that's the thing. I don't want to come on sounding arrogant or confident. But I really do feel like you have to show people 
you have to show people the good. Like when you coming up, you got to show them what the, the staying down was for without being arrogant, without feeling like I'm better than somebody. I'm not better than nobody. I'm a human being just like everybody, but I do know what I put in, the type of work ethic I have, the type of consistency and grind I have, and what that's allowed me to do, and now how it's allowing me to help so many other people. So let me tell y'all something. Um, I've been doing these free sales webinars. If you ain't tapped in, I'm doing another one on how to transition your career into tech in the next few weeks. I'm going to put the sign up down below. Definitely sign up because the free webinars have been going up, period, period. Okay, I did two free sales webinars and over 450 people signed up for these guys. Like, it is starting to blow my mind. It is starting to blow my mind. Okay, it's starting to blow my mind. And then the confirmations I'm receiving on, wow, you're teaching us this stuff and it's so easy to learn and you make it understandable. It just lets me know my calling. I'm stepping into it and I'm fully embracing what God is doing in my life right now, fully. And I advise you, no matter what season you're in, no matter where you are at on your journey, no matter what is going on, okay? Did y'all see this last podcast episode I just dropped on Sunday? Bro, this girl literally talked about building one of the biggest brands on Instagram right now, Baskin Lather Co. I purchased that, that, that two years ago, just off the strength of her marketing and seeing what it exploded like online. So just knowing these things are possible, knowing you can build communities, 16 million in under three years is her revenue okay that's she was a rn she was working a regular nine to five job so now god is also sitting me down in front of people with the same types of stories like me i started off doing this ended up doing that yeah 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 it's just it's no coincidence y'all everything god told me to start my podcast like i can't even i wanted to do it i kept playing and it was like a command like you need to do this so what I will say, guys, stay faithful, stay consistent, stay on your journey. It will all come to fruition at the right time. And that's the message I got for y'all today. I'm about to go shopping. I need some outfits for New York for my sales conference and my dinners and all the things I got going on. I have to do a photo shoot this week. All right, I got a lot of moving parts. This month is going to be so fun. I can't wait to bring you guys along with me. But this was going to be originally a vlog of me just rah, 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 running around the city all day. But, ooh, when I just tell y'all, I just got these words that I had to, to drop on y'all from the phone call to the moment I left the house. Everything that's just been happening today, I really had to just switch the vibes to a car ramp. This is a car rant on trusting your timing, trusting your alignment, and trusting that you are walking in your right season right now, baby. Trust that. Trust that. And step into it. And that's that. And I hope you guys have a great day. <laughs> and definitely sign up for the free webinar, the sales webinar. Link in description. I'm going to see y'all on that webinar. Later.